What's in a name? Your name is important, right? Same with four-year-olds. Their name is so important. It's who they are. It's their identity. It's relevant and meaningful to children. Their name. It's theirs. So think about your classroom. Where do you have children's names? I attended a professional development um, one time and the speaker recommended that children's names be located eight times, eight different areas of a classroom. So let's think about that. Where in our classroom can we have children's names? This is what I put in your cubby. Picture, name. First day of school or orientation, come here, let's go find your cubby. If they can't read their name yet, they can definitely see their picture, but you are tying their picture with the letters. So I had this, their cubbies. Cubbies, first place you want them. I also made extra copies of these, just like these, these strips. Picture, name, and I put this, just loose like this, I laminated it so it would stay forever, and I put it in the writing center. So that if the children wanted to write a letter or they want to know how to write their name, they could do that. I also had a copy of this in the art center because after they're done painting, okay, don't forget to write your name on your paper so we know that this is yours. Now, they, you may be able to read it, you may not. That's okay, but they try. And then if you need to write it small so you know um, that that's their artwork, then you can do that. So we have this in cubbies. We have it in writing, we have it in the art center. I also, everybody's got one of these, an ABC train in their room. They are picture their name. Color coding, it's up to you. If you wanna put the capital letter in a different color and then the rest of the letters in a different color, you can do that. Um, but their name is on their ABC train. We also did Hickety Pickety Bumblebee. Are you familiar with this? Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say her name with me? Esmeralda, Esmeralda. And then we would go down the line and say everybody's name. You can also say, won't you clap her name with me? Esmeralda, and then they clap, Esmeralda. So then you're starting to work on syllables, but we always sang this song too. I made a copy for my um, place at the where I taught, but I also made a copy to send home with parents so that they could, the children could teach their um, classmates' names to their parents and clap syllables. At the very beginning of the year, I always made one of these. I had about four different pictures um, for the, and their name right there attached to it. So this smaller one I would put on my wishing well, which is just a pie pan with a heart in the middle of it and we would see who was here every morning ariana's here or i would sing a song like um ariana is here today ariana is here today ariana is here today we're glad you came to school so whoever was absent then we would put in the middle of the heart and we would wish them well and we would send kisses this is a family po picture all children should have their family picture in your classroom that's to help them feel comfortable. If they're ever sad, they can get their family picture. If they ever miss mom or dad, they can get their family picture. I know orientations are a little different this year with um, Zoom meetings. So maybe you can take a screenshot of everybody around the, the computer and so that you have a picture of mom and dad or brother and sister or grandma, whoever, for their first day of school. Um, if you don't have it for the first day, please work on it so that they have a picture. It's very important that they have their family. So I also had um, made something like this, only I had everybody's different picture. So I had 18 children on this sheet of paper with their picture and their name. And I might have made their picture a little bit smaller and their name a little bit bigger for name recognition. And, you know, after a little while, children are going to be able to recognize other people's names because... You know, we use this. So I put this in housekeeping and I put it in a couple other places in the room so that they can always see the picture and their name. They're going to recognize their name. They're going to recognize their friends' names. You can use this for transition activity too. You're lining up. You just had circle time. You're lining up to go outside. Okay, when you see your name, it's your turn to go line up. And maybe Ariana can't read this yet, but her neighbor um, 
Marley Cans. Ariana, that's you. So she goes, good, thank you for helping her. Who's next? Ah, good, that's you. So think about a, um, in your classroom, I really challenge you to place children's pictures and their names in at least eight different locations. We went over five or six um, areas. Um, let me see if I missed any. You can do it outside your door, your morning meeting spot, your writing center, your cubbies, science, um, have it in science, because if you have maybe some rocks in your science center, and you put ABC, you paint ABC on the rocks, then they can spell out their name with the rocks in the science center. Lots of different opportunities for names. That's the number one easiest way to learn your ABCs is by learning the letters in your name. When you introduce A, and you can say, Ariana has an A, and look, Mac has an A too. You two have A's in your names. Ariana has a capital A because it starts with a very important word. Mac has the lowercase a because it's inside his name. His important letter is M, M, M. Ariana is A. But you both have A's. And then you just kind of connect the ABCs that way. So anyway, if you have any other suggestions on how to use names, feel free to comment.